Hi, welcome back to GolfChallengeTV.com. I am Luis Mendoza. In this clip, I'm going to take you behind the scenes of a body fat test that I recently did. The test is actually called Hydrostatic Body Fat Test, and it was done with Linda Finley. Her information is below, so feel free to contact her if you have any questions or if you might want to take this test as well. Uh, the test is very quick and easy. It only takes 15 minutes. You're in and out. Uh, she actually submerges you in a, in a water tank and it has a scale on it. It's very, very safe. If you don't know how to swim, don't worry about it. It's, uh, the water might be a couple feet deep at the most. But <clears throat> what this test tells you is it gives you your body fat percentage. It also gives you your lean mass. And it also gives you the calories that your body needs to intake in order to sustain itself at a resting point. So if you were sleeping or, or just, let's say, laying in bed and doing nothing, it'll tell you how many calories your body needs just to sustain itself without doing anything. So it's very helpful to be able to know these calorie intakes that your body needs to be able to sustain itself. Um, in part two of this segment, we'll discuss some of the other details that this report gives you. But for now, this is part of the baseline that, that I was trying to obtain in order to be able to measure progress once I start this exercise routine, the 30 day challenge that I'm about to do as well. So enjoy the clip and I'll see you as soon as we get done. We're about to get our body fat test done and it's gonna be like we're gonna get dipped in the water tank and this is the actual truck that they do it in. So we're about to go meet Linda and uh, this is like a 15 minute uh, quick test, so let's go to it. And this is Linda. Uh, good morning, <laughs> Are we going on YouTube or where? Uh, no, it's just going to be my personal website. Okay, cool. Yeah, so so this is Linda, and we're actually going to be doing uh, just a little, little preview of the truck. Um, and she can probably take us through it better than I can. Um, she's, uh, we're doing some paperwork right now, but the whole purpose of this is we're going to establish uh, my body fat and see where I am before I start my routine, which will be the 30 day workout that I'm going to be doing. So, okay. Okay. So get it. ready, put your shorts on okay, and uh, take the dressing room and you can change right into your shorts there. <laughs> Give me just a moment here. I'll be right with you, yeah. okay? I'm about 10 minutes behind schedule. So hang out. Thank you. I just be there for Linda? Yes, please. No big deal, right? No, no big deal. Nice. So the first thing we'll do is get your current weight and height, and then I'll get uh, him in the tank and we'll go from there. All right. All right, go ahead, simple. step on. Let's go forward on there a little bit. There we go. Do you want me to say the numbers aloud? Yeah, sure. We're going to have it in a report. Like yeah, looks like 156 right on the dot. I've been waiting 156 since I was in high school. Okay, and step back on and face out. Step on and face out. And uh, stand tall, do not lean back. All right, go ahead and step away, please. Looks like you're 5'9 and a half. 5'10. <laughs> sure. No, that. Okay. So, come to the end of the tank. I'm going to have you um, right here. step up, turn, and sit down first. Turn and sit and hold still while I zero out my scale. Now, spin around and go feet first. Spin around, go feet first. Hang on to the side rail. Right here. Hang on to the side rail as you stand up. Turn around, sit down, legs out in front. Turn around, sit down, legs out in front. It's not all the way down. Oh, it's not cold. Nope. It's nice and warm. Nobody get in if it were cold. <laughs> now, get rid of the air that's trapped in your shorts. Squish it out of there, fluff it out. In this test, air equals fat. Air really? Equals fat. Squish really? the air out of your shorts. You got more bubbles in there kind of around the pockets. There you go. Now, take the black weight belt next to you and drape it across the top of your lap like a seat belt. Pull it up and across. It's not attached to oh, anything. Nice. And then scoot all the way down this way and put your feet against Close the bar down here. Now you're on a scale. 
you're on a scale, you can feel it moving around. That's all it's going to do. Now, um, it's important that you keep your nose plugged during the entire test. Am I dunking myself? So hang on. You're going to plug your nose. You're going to lay back, submerge at least this much. And while you're underwater is when you forcibly exhale your air through your mouth to the end of your breath as quick as you can. Hold still. I'm going to give you two knocks. That means come up. Okay, so we're going to do it three times. You're going to get the hang of it and get better with each one. Picture in your head a birthday cake with 100 candles. Blow all the candles out in one shot and hold still. Okay, so big breath. Plug your nose. Start exhaling as you submerge. Go for it. So in this test, again, air equals fat. He's getting rid of his fat that he knows he can get rid of, right? Mm. So I'm going to have him fine tune his efforts. Nice <laughs> job. Now, Luis. <laughs> so let's fine tune your efforts. I know you can blow a lot faster yeah, than that. I, I, so I need you slow. to I need you to crush it out of you, oh, gotcha, okay? Because gotcha. that was taking you forever and yeah. you made it get there. So again, please. Okay, much better, right? So do you normally take an average then of... No, nope, I take the heaviest weight. Okay. That's right there. I was a heavier <laughs> one. Nice job. Now, That's one nice. more time, okay? One more time. Okay. Big breath. At the end of your breath, you got to ask yourself, do I have more? That's when I should see oh, bear yeah. down and squeak it up. Because remember, air equals fat. So get rid of it. Okay? Go for it. Do you feel lighter now? <laughs> Go ahead and come on out. I've got to, unfortunately, I've got my other guy waiting up there. Wow, unexpectedly. All right. Okay, wonderful. Now, uh, I can always schedule a retest, Linda, whenever I'm ready to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, now that I have your email address, we have a bi monthly right. newsletter. Yeah, come on out. We have a bi monthly newsletter that. Um, you'll receive and it's really a direct link to my calendar events and you can uh, click on the calendar and find me very easily or if you want to know sooner yeah, you can go yeah. to bodyfattest.com and find me right there which I think you've already done. Excellent. Yes, bodyfattest.com. We'll have it up on the website as well. That's would that awesome. be okay if we put a link up there? Yeah, I would love to get your link and yeah, yeah, you absolutely. want my link since I see That'd that you're, uh, what is it, Mendoza Entertainment? Yes, well that's the name of it. Uh, the name <laughs> of what I'm doing here is Golf Challenge TV. Oh, so, yeah. oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 I totally want to work with you. So, with so we can definitely do that. Um, I think it'll be good exposure for everybody out there to, to see, especially this type of testing. Well, this is the only thing anybody should do, you know? Yeah. It's like the other ways, the other methods are good for tracking change. Mm -hmm. But this is where you get that instant validation of what you oh, are yeah, doing right. and what you're not doing. Well, you know, I used to do the, uh, back in the day, the calipers. Yeah, sure. But I don't think those were as accurate. Right? No, no, but not bad. I mean, they're good for tracking change, you know, over time. So you'll see a trend. You want to be headed in the right direction. Right, right. But to rely on the numbers for nutritional information, like like as an athlete, we have a protein requirement that's, that's required. So is that everything that comes up in this report? Well, I help you come up with some of those other numbers, like how to interpret okay. what your lean mass really means to you. Pick them up. Almost down. It's going to be cold on time. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, as an athlete, I mean, we want to we want to feed our muscle for function, but not for fat support. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense, right? Right, right, right. We want to, we want to feed our muscle enough to repair itself when we tear it up with our whatever workout it is we do. If you're an endurance athlete, you better make sure you're getting enough protein. Mm -hmm. If you're a, a bodybuilder, you gotta make sure you get enough protein. It's all about the repair and the maintenance and the support on a daily basis. 
Right. You know, well, you know, I'll definitely, when we have a little more time, I will definitely like sit down with you and, and talk about that. And well, I'll, hang out after this guy, because then I got this big window of time. We can talk Excellent. more. Excellent. All right. Linda, I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, Thanks cool. so much. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks, Linda. You're welcome. Let's go freeze. Let's go freeze. We're in L.A., but it's like down in the 60s right now. So... Sunny L.A., everyone. Yeah, sunny L.A. But, uh, anyhow, so... It was hard to live that hair out, you know? I just... It did take the three tries to really to really feel what it feels like to not have any air. And even at the end, I still felt I had a little bit. So, so anyway, we're gonna wait for the other client to get done with her and then we'll go back in and we'll talk to her a little bit about uh, what the report means and what are the next steps to, to uh, do the retesting. All right. There you have it, 10.6% body fat and 1,871 calories that my body needs in order to sustain itself at a relaxing um, state. So if I were sleeping or just do, laying in bed doing nothing, my body would need 1,871 calories just to sustain itself. The 10.6% body fat, I was very surprised. Um, I have not exercised consistently over the last three, four years, so I was very surprised that it was that low. It's definitely good news. But, you know, my eating habits are horrible right now. I eat maybe two to three meals a day, but the meals are very far apart uh, every, you know, five, six hours. And I know that once I start exercising, I really have to change that. I should be eating five to six meals a day and more consistently, maybe two to three hours in between meals. So, again, I was very surprised with 10.6% body fat. Uh, this hydrostatic body fat test is the most accurate. So now we have a, base, a baseline in order to be able to monitor the progress, especially after this 30-day exercise challenge that I'm about to get into in a couple weeks here. So we will also be talking about nutrition in the next couple weeks, and, uh, and we'll come back to this body fat percentage, the lean mass, and the calorie intake uh, that this report generated. So until next time, I'm Luis Mendoza from GolfChallengeTV.com.